My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. And today I am viewing Perfumes de Mali Haltain. This is £305 for 125ml. The notes are bergamot, lavender, clary sage. The heart notes are saffron, cedarwood, praline, elderwood. The base notes are patchouli, vetiver, musk, leather, and natural argwood. Natural argwood. And this is vegan, cruelty free, and it's 125ml. Brick. Do we have our bottles of Heltane by Perfins de Mali? Are we engaged with our higher self? Let's get testing. So let's start off by seeing the atomizer. It's okay. I love the caps. So it feels weighty and luxurious. So I've tested this actually. I want to do a wear test because I think Perfins de Mali fragrances are really good. They all have longevity. They all have, you know, they're quite gutsy. I was told they've reduced the concentrations down Somebody asked me that, so I don't know if that's true. If you leave your comments below, is if that's true or not. This is a beautiful DNA. I think this is really great. We're doing a video in a minute with this comparing and contrasting this to another fragrance. So buckle your seatbelts in for that one. So this is really great. I think all of this range is really wearable. I, there might be one that I tested that I didn't particularly like. But the majority of them, I think, are really great. And I think it's really great perfumery. They use a lot of naturals. And so you're getting that sort of bergamot top note. And bergamot as a top note is really great. It kind of goes with everything. It's not too limoline. It's not too linalol. You get different types of bergamot, actually. It goes with everything. And that's always my starting citrus, actually. Then adding on to it. It's a really radiant, very beautiful. This is this Perfume de Mali's Clean backbone they have that dna signature within it oak moss and baroxin ethyl maltol whipping for the brace to sweeten this formulation the cashmere in uh, molecules giving elevation this is just a really great uh musk accord in this actually they always have a clean backbone but from the man always used galaxlide or ethylene bracelet galaxlide would not in this aspect uh because of the viscosity of it it would not have given that lift to it because it's so thick. Glaxide's a horrible raw material. Ugh, there's some raw materials I dread working with. And Galaxalide, I think, is the worst one. It's just so sticky and disgusting. I think I'm working with it tomorrow. I don't know, but I hate working with it. Anyway, Ethan and Brassolate, and this is allowing the, sort of the elevation and giving it that clean, vanillic backbone. Further add into the backbone with Hannibalite, which is metallic and also has a pear quality to it. So like an apple pear quality to it, I'd say. So it's giving the sort of picking up on the fruit molecules and then smoothing it out. This is sort of a third musk sort of smoothing at the base of this. And that musk accord is key in combination with the oak moss and broxin and the ethyl maltol to sort of give you this sort of character within it. This is radiant on my skin. I don't know if it's because this uh, room we're recording in is hot, but this is radiant. When I tested it, it wasn't particularly radiant. Very, very easy to wear. The choice of raw materials is like key and the percentages of the raw materials were chosen perfectly. I don't know if it's saying, I'll be really honest with you, I don't know if it's particularly saying oud, but I think it is a very wearable oud fragrance. I think this is their only oud. You have to be really careful. Not everybody wants a fragrance which sort of screams oud. You know, this is a very wearable, easy fragrance. Very likable, way wearable. Then all compounds having to give sort of lift in it as well. So this is clean, fresh oak moss and broxin, cashmere and musk heavy. On to my final thoughts. I kind of love it. If I'm honest with you, this sort of backbone I was sort of experimenting with for quite a while because I really, really like it. Really, really likable. And I may do something with this flipping it around these sort of through Roma chemicals around does lots of amazing things. So if you put Ambroxin at the top and the oak moss and the ethyl maltol, you get an effect. If you put the, so if you experiment with all three in different combinations, you get different effects, which is really nice. I think this is so likable and I think this range is really, really likable. So I'll go through my final thought processes. I kind of really like it. I think it's the right amount of sweetness, the right amount of Ambroxin, the right amount of must, the right amount of kind of everything, the right amount of naturals. I love the greenness. 
Oh, the Vertiverianist, I love the sort of patchouli, I love the woods in it. There's kind of everything I really, really like about it, actually. And in here, it's sort of quite radium. I don't know if you're really young, whether you would like this, but I think it's a really nice smell. I would absolutely wear this. I love some of their work. This I really like. But I'm going to say this is sort of suitable if you're after a really user-friendly oud fragrance, something which is sensual smelling. This amounts to sort of oak moss, gives sort of real sensuality to the fragrance. This is a very sort of sensual smelling fragrance. I think this is suitable for autumn to spring, but when you wouldn't want to wear this in hot weather, it would get a little bit clawing, a little bit sickly. I think this is unisex. I think women could wear this as well. I don't think it's particularly masculine smelling. I think it's just a very strong, robust sort of wall of fragrance. I get about, well on me, I can sort of smell it, but when I didn't wear it in a hot room, it kind of, I got about foot on projection. The sillage wasn't nuts on it to be honest with you, but I kind of think it gives you that uh, Perfins de Mali thing to it. So I think it's just sort of a great addition to it, but I do really love it. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10. And the one mark that comes off is because of a video that we're just about to record, which you'll sort of see. So we love that review. Thumbs up and subscribe. More fascinating, interesting content, lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance views. Hope you're staying safe and well. See you soon.